What's going on guys, it's Jack here checking out another NBA draft profile, this time looking at TJ Leaf, the freshman forward from UCLA. At age 20, he's a little bit older than you know the, the typical freshman, but I think he's going to be able to translate his game uh, much better because of it. I think he's more polished than than definitely some other players in this draft class, especially his teammate and fellow forward E.K. Anikbogu, who is more athletic, but I think Leaf's ability, his, his ability to score from the post as well as the perimeter um, is going to translate right away, and I think that you know with his skill set, um, and, and the fact that he doesn't have the athleticism that teams necessarily look for, I think he may get passed up a little bit, and his skill set is going to cause teams to kind of regret that later on. Now, I see him as an extremely talented face-up four who can shoot some threes, but he, he's more valuable in the mid-range and going towards the basket um, with his footwork and his ability to finish uh, in a finesse sense. And, and he's really talented in that way. He can finish in a variety of uh, ways near the basket, um, get by his man using just changes of pace and, and shiftiness. He's much better ball handler than you think and at times led the break there for UCLA. And he's not the best athlete. I'd say, but he's also not a bad one. 34 and a half inch max vertical. And at 6'10", 220, while he doesn't have the length that you look for with only a 6'11 wingspan, he does have good size for the power forward position. Now, with averages of 16 points, little over 8 rebounds, as well as 2 and a half assists, he showed that he was not only a, a scorer, but a guy who can make plays as well as rebound the basketball. And with, you know, three rebounds, uh, three offensive rebounds, excuse me, per 40 minutes, according to Draft Express, he does have offensive rebounding instincts that you cannot teach. And, you know, with the athleticism being what it is, it's definitely more instincts than it is, you know, him just knowing, uh, using his athleticism to get around guys. He also shot 47% from the three-point line on a little less than two attempts per game. But he only shot 68% from the free-throw line. And that's a question to me. I know that's a solid number for a forward, but I think he should be closer to you know 75 80%. Um, he just has too, too nice of a jump shot, I think, for that number to be so low. Now, he originally committed to Arizona and then decommitted right around the same time that it was clear that Laurie uh, Markinen was going to be their forward. And that made sense uh, just to get more playing time for TJ Leaf at UCLA, and it definitely worked out in his favor. Now, I mentioned a lot of strengths here for TJ Leaf, but some of the weaknesses uh, in his game are, are definitely more focused on the defensive end of the court. You know, looking at him, he, he doesn't have the physicality at 220 pounds to really bang with bigger players uh, down low. And he'd never really showcase that throughout college, the toughness that you'd like to see in the post on defense. As well as he, he doesn't have the shiftiness or the quickness, rather, to contend with quicker players on the perimeter. And with the way that the four position is kind of shifted into an oversized wing, those areas of concern are definitely real for NBA teams at the next level. And so there are issues of, you know, while he's going to produce on the offensive end, there are concerns clearly about what he's going to be able to do defensively. His jump shot, while I do think is nice and, and should be just fine at the next level, there are some concerns whether it will extend to the NBA three-point line. It is a little flat and, and could just use some polishing um, for the next level, but I think that's a much more minor concern than defensive issues that Leaf faces. I see Leaf as a guy who's going to slide in this draft to the back half of the first round. Uh, I think his value, though, is much more in line with the upper teens, early 20s, and, and therefore I think a team like the Spurs you know, similar to what they've done throughout their, you know, recent history here, are going to draft TJ Leaf and just expose a real steal here and pick him up at the end of the first round. That is my prediction for where Leaf goes. You never know, obviously, with the NBA draft, but that's just what I'm thinking. I think he's going to be, you know, undervalued and slide a bit and the Spurs are going to snatch him up. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about TJ Leaf. Where do you think he's going to go in the draft and what type of value will he be? What other NBA draft videos you want to see me profile you know during the draft after the draft we love to hear your ideas especially for this summer what types of draft content do you want to see if you're new to the talking ball channel make sure to subscribe for nba and nfl draft content delivering all year round thanks for listening guys i'm out